All right, thank you so much for joining us. And I have here with me uh, the very vice chancellor of uh, Bowen University. And he's here uh, to discuss about the lifetime of uh, the Reverend, the late Reverend Samuel Titilola Akade. I know uh, he's uh, been with him for some quite a number of days uh, just before his uh, demise. But it's quite important that we talk about this man, the man called Reverend Samuel Titilola Akade. It's good to have you join us uh, on the program today, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. So how would you describe uh, Baba ST or Lakade? Well, let me say, while I was growing up, I hear a lot about um, the Reverend Dr. S.T. Olakade. And um, one thing I need to say from what I've observed is that he's a man that is driven by fashion. For whatever Baba decides to do, um, he puts passion into it. Um, he was one of the um, general secretaries that actually brought the Nigerian Baptist Convention to the limelight. All right. And um, I see him as a, a man who is very brief, a man courageous, a man who, is, who will not shrink to express himself the way he feels irrespective of um, the popular, the popular uh, mood. Of, uh, of things. Um, recently, when I took up the office of Vice Chancellor, um, Baba was the one who called me. Uh, I don't know how he got my number. He called me and um, he, he said, do you, do, you, do you know me? And I said, of course, who will know you? There's nobody who will not know, know you. And he said something. He said, I, I know your father. And I said, well, I will, I, will expect, I will expect that. Then he said, when are you going to visit me? I said, I will visit you soon. And he said something that taught me. He said, don't wait until I die before you visit me. OK, he said, don't wait. Until, that, that's how blunt um, Baba Esther Lakade can be. He said, don't wait until I die. And I said, no, Baba, I will visit you live. And um, that was why uh, I told one or two of my staff, uh, particularly um, Reverend uh, Dr. Um, Larry Ayuba. And I said, look, this is what Baba said. Do you, who knows Baba's house? And then Larry Ayuba told me he knows his house. And, and, and we left it at that. And I told him that one of these will visit him. Then one day, Larry just came over to me and said, tomorrow is, will be Baba's birthday. Baba will be celebrating 93. I said, Larry, we need to be there. Okay. I said, let me be there 93. And then um, I... I'm happy, I thank God that we're able to make it. Um, Baba was still his jovial self. I mean, he looked at um, what Bowen did. We, we made the flag banner. And he said, oh, I'm still, how did you get this picture? I'm still looking at some. And with this, he had a cap like this on. And he said, even with my car, I mean, uh, these this are my time. He threw, he threw banters and so on. Um, it was when Baba died that, um, I was telling my parents, and then they told me, they said, that's the man who named you. And I said, for God's sake, why do you have to tell me now? Why didn't you tell me when? I said, your elder sister yourself, that's the man who named you. Then we were in the Edeka Baptist Church. And I said, wow, I wish I know this to tell him at his 93rd birthday. And so um, he, Baba had um, actually made a strong impression on the Nigeria Baptist Convention and on Baptist generally. So that um, the name, and you see this, um, the initials too, have a way it plays, <laughs> S.T. Ola Academy. You know, it, it's, it's, it's very unique. So every, whenever you say S.T. Ola, you don't even need to finish Academy before people know what the person you are talking about. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he's an icon. He, has, he, he, he was an icon. He, has, he, he made a name, not only for himself, but also for the Nigerian Baptist Convention. He, he was a great man, and he made the organization, the Nigerian Baptist Convention, that he was leading at that time, also to be great. So he's um, a man that um, is worthy to be celebrated. He's a life that is worthy to be celebrated. That's who I would say that you said, that Baba is. All right, now, Baba I, was. you will agree with me that uh, Baba left a legacy 
and we're talking about him now, not because he was the president, one-time president, or rather a one-time general, one general secretary of the Nigerian Baptist Convention. Yes. But the history of the Nigerian Baptist Convention would never be complete, you know, without mentioning some of his achievements and you know what it stands for. Now, what would you say about a legacy in position, reference to uh, the late Esti Olakani? I think the people who will be able to say much will be um, those who were much older when it was there. But um, one thing I hear so much is that um, um, Baba improved a lot of uh, pastors across board. Welfare and so on, he did that. So that um, virtually most of those um, pastors in this time have respect for him because he, he dealt with the matter of their welfare. Okay, and that is one. Um, Baba was um, able to um, address um, issues, particularly in the way in which the convention session holds. All right, I may not be able to say um, much details about um, what um, he, he did because some of these things are things I hear from people and so on. But I remember that. Um, he, there was a convention in, um, in Kaduna. I, I can't remember if he's the one who is the GS at that time. But he came out to speak and he spoke very strongly. I think the, the team of that convention was um, men, not monuments, something like that. Or, or um, not monuments, but men. That means you don't emphasize building monuments, but you build men. And so, and as a young man, um, the first thing that challenged me was the coinage. And then I was asked, what does this mean? And so I think he, he was GS at that uh, convention, even though, even though I'm not, but he spoke at that convention very strongly. I think um, his life is about uh, impacting the lives of others. That's, that's, that's the little I can say about what he done. He did. All right, thank you so much uh, for that insight into who uh, Reverend Samuel Titilola Akande was in his lifetime. At 93 years old, you know, Baba did well. We can say that. You agree with me? Of course he did. Mm. And uh, if at 93 years old, at 93 he can walk by himself and so on. I mean, you, should, you also know that uh, God, God um, has been gracious to you. All right, thank you so much, sir, thank for you. your time. We appreciate it. All right, that's where we draw the curtain. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shagun for me, or you don't.